Hello folks, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. It's been a little while. Certainly it's been a minute. I've been so, 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 so busy. Just not had the chance to get any of these videos done. I do apologise, but I should try and get a few more done over the summer. Okay. An interesting little flyer which I've been messing around with. Uh, no particular pattern. It's a detached uh, body dry. Um, I was actually tying a few flies up ahead of a visit. I've got to uh, Clue Dog next week. Um, and this sort of started off as a daddy and then turned into a hopper and he's now probably a heather fly. So it's a bit of everything. But I just thought I'd share with you the uh, the time process of this little detached body here. It's quite a fun little thing to do. Okay, so the first thing obviously is to make these little detached uh, body here. So I'm going to take that hook out of the vise. That's a fly out the vise. And we're going to replace that with a needle. Okay, just a needle, just a plain sewing needle. Just stick that in your vise, a little grip in. Just like that. Okay. Um, the foam body is actually made out of just your flat sheet, two mil black foam. You get this from any of the toy shops, any of the craft shops. Okay, and we're going to take a little piece there, about five mil wide. Just cut a little strip there about five mil wide and I'm going to put a little tape on the end of it. And okay, I'm just going to take a couple of little bits off the end there. Just like that. To end up with this little tape on the end. Okay. And then we're going to then put that in and actually stick the needle into it. So the needle's in there somewhere. So it's right in the point there. Okay. And I'm going to come in with my black thread. This is just straightforward black ato. Okay. Nothing flash about this. This is some of the old Spartan stuff. So we've had that for a while. Um, and then we're going to come in and get a couple of wraps, leaving a nice big tail at the end here, okay? A nice big uh, uh, tag end. I'm going to get a couple of wraps in just ahead of the of the, thread, of the uh, taper there and just try to come down and then just cinch it nice and tight, just like that. It will want to spin on the needle. Just come in nice and tight and then come in behind it. And that locks it in. See, just lock that in there nicely now, and then come up again and round. And you're just going to do a few of these depending on how big a taper you want to make this. Come up around behind it again, two or three turns, and another little. You just get this nice little segment segmentation effect. Okay, and I'll be in around the back of it. Keep this tag end back here. I'm going to go for four of these. And again, back round again, and your final one, like that. And you can see how you suddenly you get this lovely little detached body effect. Super easy, really. Um, nothing to it. We're then going to tie this off. So come in, you can do it by hand, or you can use your whip finish. I'm just going to use the whip finish here. So just get a couple of turns in at the back there. That's it, pull it tight, and then trim it off. And there you have your detached body. Now you can take this off the needle, you just pull off the needle, okay. Let's finish the trap itself in there, okay. And then just taking these two tag ends that you've left underneath here, these two, two tag ends from, the, from there, okay, just give them a little pull. That just tightens everything up a little bit. And that's lovely. And that's your detached body ready to go. And you can see how effective. It's a lovely little tapered effect there. You can dab it with a lighter just at the end there, just to round that bit off at the end there if you prefer. So we just do a little dab on the end there with a the lighter. And it just rounds that off nicely. Okay. This is lovely little segmented effect. So now we can take the uh, needle out of the vise. So that's just done with that. And you're going to pop your hook in the vise. And this is size 12. Marvellous. Lovely. Okay. Right. So we'll see now we're going to tie in that detached body. So taking your thread again. Just get the thread on. And I'm going to bring that back down to about level with the point of the hook. So it's quite a short body actually. And we're not dressing the whole hook as, as such. And we're going to come in and offer this up. And I'm going to trap it on that last segment there. You see, that's where I'm going to tie that in on that last segment there. And just bring that in up here and then bring it over that's it trapped down there that looks nice and then just 
about another five mil just wrap that in tie that down and then we can just cut the excess off now so we can trim this bit off now just get rid of that all of that get rid of it nice and close that's that gone and that's your segmented body tied in just tidy that up and then the rest of this is completely up to you how you want to dress this and what you want to do with it and what colors you want to do it in. i'm just going to do this in in, in the straight black um, so I'm going to put some legs in here now. Okay, so I've got my knotted pheasant tail, uh, my knotted pheasant tail legs there, and uh, we're just going to select six of those. There we are, five, six of those, and we're just going to dress it like um, like any other sort of daddyish pattern. Try to get these. There's a small skinny one there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, there, get all the ends so they're kind of matching up nice and even so they're nice sort of same sort of length turn that upside down and then just split them in half so you've got three and three not that it really matters it just makes the pattern look a bit neater i suppose and pop them in three and three and bring them back to be level with the end of the tail okay we're going to catch that in Like that in case you end up with a set of legs out the back there whip that down trim off the excess um, and this one is going to be a little UV one so I'm going to be using this stuff here um, this is just angel hair there's all sorts of UV dubbing out there but I like this angel hair um, I'm going to come in here and uh, just wax my thread a little bit of wax on my thread there a sample and a little bit of this dubbing I've, I've just pulled this apart just to sort of loosen it up and pulled it apart so it's nice and fine i'm just going to put a nice bit of here we want a bit of dubbing on this i think you know a nice bit of bit of bulk on this fly won't do it any harm it is going to be fished wet and dry um i might pull it and then i might fish it dry on the top so um nice bit of uv on there and then just a couple of good wraps around that's it lovely bring the thread forward okay and we'll just tease it out a little bit while it's there we'll just get a little bit of a brush on it just to rough it up a little bit there you are, that looks good okay do like a bit of uv on these flies okay a little bit of hackle on here now uh, so just a uh, black hen standard black hen nice uh, selective one feather out of that okay and we're just going to strip that back to the useful part Offer that up to the hook and then bring it back down and I'm just going to put a few wraps of that in in front there. Just come in there and get that and put a few wraps in. Four wraps we're going to go for. Give me a nice bit of hackle there and then bring your thread up through the hackle in front of the hook you can trim that off now lay this back okay get a couple of thread wraps in again lovely and then we're going to finish off again with another little bit of uv in front of there uh, just give you a little bit of a head sort of midasy sort of effect i suppose but again another pinch of uv not as much this time into the thread i'm just going to get a couple of wraps of that in in the front there that's it and then just finish off actually quite a straightforward pattern but very effective nice looking pattern this just get a couple of thread wraps in there and finish off like so in with your brush again just scruff this up a bit I love scruffing these dries up and I'm gonna look a little bit rough and ready like that all this fuss and you just know that that is going to get the fish's attention you just know that's going to work 
It screams, eat me, eat me, eat me. Then you can really mess around with these colours. You can make the body brown, you can make the body tan. Uh, the legs can be red or orange. You know, if you want the heather fly sort of pattern, you can vary your body materials, the, the dubbing material and the hackle material. The, the, the world is your oyster with that. But I was just tying a few of these up and I just fancied these on the, on some of the reservoirs coming up now. So, uh, yeah, there you go. A little detached body dry. So, if you enjoyed that, um, please click like, click subscribe, and uh, I should try to get a few more videos out to you as and when I can. Thanks very much, folks. Bye-bye. Thank you.